What's going on shooters all around the world? I just want to talk about the defensive ammo that I'm running in this Taurus GX4 9mm. I started out as the Taurus G2C 9mm as my everyday carry. I carried this gun along with the Hornaday 135 grain plus P ammunition. And with that and the 12 round magazine, I was talking about 27, I don't know if you can see that, 27.5 ounces. So I upgraded and I start carrying the GX4 and with the uh, 13 round extended magazine, I was just running about 24.1 ounces. So that's a lot lighter. And I have one extra round. I was running uh, also the 365 ammo. It's good for short barrels. I don't know if you can see they packed that real good. So it's gonna really, it's really designed to uh, explode on impact. Um, and I was also running this NATO ammunition because I do trust it. I'm a combat vet. And um, it's also running pretty good. Now, when I ran this 135 grain critical duty uh, plus P ammunition, that's what I have been carrying because I just saw all the reviews of the FBI ballistics gelatin. And um, like I said, the... NATO ammunition, it performs, it's averaging about uh, 1120, 1140 feet per second. You're gonna get about 12 to 18 inches of penetration in the FBI ballistics gel block. Um, that's great. Well, actually you're gonna get about 24 inches, which is over the penetration, but I'm not into that. I mean, I'm not into over penetration. That's something that these guys came out with in the last couple of years. I'm not into over penetration. I think over penetration is great. Uh, this 365 ammo is packed. Uh, I guess it's designed to explode on impact. Um, also, this underwood ammo. And what's the thing about this underwood ammo? It's copper spun. And actually, if you dig into it, what exactly? This this bullet is indestructible, and the reason why it's a tombback bullet. It's uh, made out of ancient technology from the Bronze Age. Uh, it's actually copper, zinc, and it actually was what they used back in the day, the blacksmith used back in the day, or I guess the guys who made the swords back in the Bronze Age. Uh, that's what they, they, they uh, want, some of the ingredients that they made swords with back in the Bronze Age. And this is why... Uh, this this round is almost indestructible. And this is exactly what I've been using, guys. I've actually moved to this Underwood 115 grain plus P ammo. It's running at about 1,475 feet per second. I guess that's coming out of four, four and a half inch barrel. Uh, Subtract so about 40 feet per second in this three inch barrel. So I'm gonna get about it's running about 12, I want to say about 1280, 1290 to 1320 feet per second coming out of this shorter barrel. And this is what I, I use. Like I said, it's about 24 ounces versus when I was using the 135 grain, it's about 27.5 ounces, a lot lighter um, as I'm using it as my everyday carry. And, um, concealed carry so guys check check into that i um like i said I've, each one of these i shot about let's say 50 rounds a piece i'm sorry yeah one box i shot 50 rounds of this 25 rounds of that and i shot one box of that of 20 rounds and it was uh and this 365 is 20 rounds so i haven't shot that much but I uh, just wanted to show you guys that the all of them had no failure to feed, no failure to fire, no failure to eject, no light promise strike.